Hi, my Ray of Lights, and welcome back to my channel. This is Psychic Medium Ray, and I want to wish every mother out there that is tuning into this a happy, happy, and blessed Mother's Day. Thank you so much for being here, for being loyal. Um, if you haven't subscribed to this channel, please go ahead and subscribe. Sorry for the ensemble. <laughs> it is Sunday, um, so I'm recording this. I'm actually doing this uh, reading. Uh, it is for all the mothers out there. Uh, but of course, if you are a man or you are uh, a single, you know, male parent, this goes to anyone. It's for anyone, really, but specifically for mothers. So I'm doing a Mother's Day kind of like a uh, reading overview of what to expect for June. Okay, so for the month of June and uh, actually let's do like the next three months. What's coming up? Let's give you like an outlook for all of you moms out there. Um, so I hope that this kind of helps you. Don't forget that if you are interested in a reading, um, right now all of my uh, readings are on sale with the exception of the emergency readings. Uh, they're on sale until midnight tonight. Um, so be sure to book your reading with me um, or you can give a gift to your mom, you know, if you want to, um, and this is going to be like, um, you know, your mother's day gift or a gift for a friend. This is like the perfect time. Everything is marked down 30% as far as readings are concerned. So you don't have to worry about using a promo code. So I hope all of you are enjoying, you're having your barbecue or you're cooking some mac and cheese, you know, getting all the sinful, you know, carbs <laughs> that you're not supposed to really have, uh, out there. Um, so I am going to get in it and, um, we're going to just get into this reading, see what comes out. So for the next three months, look, the lover's card comes up. So a lot of focus on your love life for a lot of you moms out there that may be single, or even those of you that are in a relationship, um, or a situation ship, there is this focus on a love life for some reason. So I feel like, again, there's a possibility of love being rekindled if you are in a an existing relationship and how this would translate to you is to like find the spark, maybe start doing things that are outside of the box, like dating date nights, even though you've been married for, you know, so many years, if there's something lacking in your love life, if, the, if you're single, this would be, you know, to be very on the lookout because the next three months could be spicy for you. Um, I also got here the Knight of Wands. So for me, when I see the Knight of Wands, again, there's very different interpretations, but I feel like this is a very, it's talking about, because remember we got the lover's card before. So there's a divine masculine energy around here. Um, this is someone that's very creative. Um, so, and this could even be yourself, uh, very protective, but you're full charge ahead. It's like you're full charge ahead and you're going towards your goals and, and manifesting that. We have here the Seven of Wands. Seven of Wands, again, um, it feels almost like you have to be defensive, but you don't really. Um, it's like all eyes are on you at times, but you are really the center and focus of yourself. You are um, kind of like illuminating others and inspiring others, even if you don't see it over the next three months. But that's what's really is, is happening. It's happening pretty quickly. Uh, the moon here tells me, again, there's a lot of illumination of things that um, need to be uncovered within yourself, uh, thoughts, maybe, um, shadow work that needs to be done. Um, but clarity is received because the moon is a very intuitive card as well. It's, it's a very, it's interpreted in different ways, but essentially it's very, very indicative of, you know, intuition or higher self, um, and things uh, coming to fruition. So for that, that's what I see there. Uh, let's see what else comes out for you um, for the next three months. So I, I get here the seven of cups. So with the seven of cups, it almost feels like um, there's so much confusion at times during the next three months for you guys, because I feel like some of you may be contemplating, I want to do this, but no, I don't want to do that. Let's do this. Or you have somebody in your ear, like a family member telling you essentially that you should do something or they suggest something and you do it. And you're like, but no, I, I don't know. Like, I want to do that. So it's like a lot of confusion. You're kind of going to feel confused. Um, it doesn't mean that you can't make a decision, but it will be a little bit harder and you may need to get clarity. Some of you may get within the next three months of psychic reading, or you may decide to pull your own cards if you are a tarot reader or an oracle card reader. But that's essentially what's happening. The Fool is telling me here that you need to take chances. Um, it's like you need to really just 
take a chance, take a leap of faith in everything that you're doing, even if you don't know what the future holds, right? It's It can be scary to do so, but I think, and by doing so, you're honoring yourself, you're honoring your path. It's a lot of you may be having questions about the path. The world card comes up, which tells me, again, you've completed a cycle in so many ways. Um, it's a very positive card. I feel like you're starting a new chapter in some way uh, in your life. If you are a mother out there, right, and this, this reading is for you, it's a Mother's Day reading. Um, for the next three months, you know, I feel like you're going through some transformation on a deep level. So if you're not focused right now on the bigger picture, this is a time to start formulating your thoughts, get your vision boards, pull out your crystals, do the crystal grid, um, do communication with your higher self, get the downloads, you know, um, whatever your... Uh, your definition of spirituality is for you. It's everybody's going to be different. There's going to be, um, uh, like, you know, spirit codes, uh, love codes, uh, love languages and things of that nature that are being downloaded. Um, let's see here. We have here the four of cups as well. So, um, with the four of cups, again, it feels almost like, um, you're at a standstill. You're contemplating things. Um, it kind of feels, you know, at times like you are just there. You're there in the moment, but you're still trying to figure out like what is your next step? What is your next decision? But, um, you know, at, at times it can be where, you know, you're, you're expecting more out of people. But it feels like almost like it can be a little dark at times uh, during the next three months for you guys. Like what I mean dark, it doesn't mean like a negative thing, but almost like you, how your emotions evolve and surround you. Like you feel like sometimes like no one really understands you when they really do. But it's just in the moment you feel like nobody understands you. And it, it can be also, you know, a situation where you end up having like some breakdowns here and there. So just be aware of that. Um, we also have here the three of wands. So a lot of future planning, like wanting to take trips, wanting to, to move on, wanting to travel. Um, the three of wands is like you are setting the tone for your future. A lot of future planning. I always am a, I always preach and talk about being in the moment and how important it is to live in the moment and be in the moment and be present in the moment. But for a lot of us, I think even if you're a mom out there or you're a guy listening to this, um, it's saying basically that a lot of you are planning for the future. You're always focused on the future. And that's not a bad thing to have goals. And I think essentially that's what it means for you guys. It's like a lot of you have goals, things that you want to achieve or things that you want to accomplish by, you know, August. Like, let's just keep it real. Um, and then we have here the Nine of Pentacles. So whatever you're working on right now, it's going to be uh, like a culmination of events. It's going to, your financial situation, no matter if you're struggling or you're pretty solid right now, it's still going to improve. If you're struggling, it's going to improve. If you are in a stagnant, uh, let's say you're in a good spot financially, it's you may be uh, attracting more abundance to yourself, uh, but it is going to require hard work because you do not get to to that. It, for some of you also, I think you may be on the cusp of a promotion or uh, on the cusp of leaving a job for something that pays more. And I think you've realized your worth with the Nine of Pentacles of where you stand in your life and where you want to go. Um, so some of you are stuck like in this battle, like in this decision, like should I make that decision now? Like should I leave my job or whatever? And I think the Spirit is saying yes with everything. It's like a journey that you're going through because remember I got the Three of Wands before pulling the nine of pentacles and the night the three of wands is like a journey like you know traveling possibly or moving on from a situation but planning you know in the in the present for the future so um wow we get the chariot card so again moving a lot of movement moving forward with stuff you know and and with the chariot card you know there does comes a level of chaotic energy, I feel like, um, that most people don't talk about, which is that your inner emotions and your feelings. For some people, let's just face it, that includes myself, you know, change is not always easy. Uh, it can feel pretty chaotic in the moment and it can feel almost like there's a lot of uncertainty and it's overwhelming. But at the same time with change, unless you embrace it and you go through with it, how will you ever know, you know, if that is your path or what could be? So again, you have to kind of take a, a leap of faith. Here we have the tower card, which kind of um, solidifies what I was saying about like change. It doesn't always feel pleasant. It feels chaotic in the moment. 
uh, can't make this up, you know, when I'm channeling, because I am using the cards, but I'm also channeling using my gift to interpret them. Um, and then we have here the Page of Pentacles. So again, something new that you're going to be starting for a lot of you out there that are tuning in. I feel like the next um, three months, it's going to be some, some new cycles for you, maybe new opportunities that come knocking on your door. And if you are on the fence about whether or not you should do it, I feel like you should. Um, we have here the Magician, which tells me, again, you're very astute, you're very clever, you have a lot to give and to offer, and I think people are noticing that about you, this magnetism that you have. Um, it's very enticing, it's very alluring, and I feel like um, you need to own that. It's hot girl summer, like I said. So own it. Don't be afraid to not own it. We have here the Four of Pentacles. So with the Four of Pentacles, again, I feel like some of you are going to be holding on to your money really, really tight this summer. You're not going to want to like spend it. You're not wanting to do this and that, but it's okay. I think because with what I've seen so far um, with financial situations and things of that nature, I think it's going to get better with for all of you out there that are tuning in. Um, the Queen of Pentacles, again, you are very protective of your money, but you also are a boss. A lot of you are boss babes out there. You are working as a single parent. Maybe you're you're not an entrepreneur or you are married, but you got your own business and you got your own income. And that financial independence feels good because you don't need to depend on anybody else versus, you know, if you are a man out there listening to this, this would, and you, you are potentially an entrepreneur. I don't care if you're like a hairstylist or you're a makeup artist or you're somebody that works as, you know, a doctor or a lawyer, but you are doing your thing basically. So you really don't need to depend on somebody else for your financial situation. You know what I mean? That's what spirit is really saying. The queen of cups tells me again, a lot of you are feeling very fulfilled. You're feeling very nurturing uh, during this next cycle of three months forward. Um, you're feeling like you need to like be a mom. You need to give, and and you do receive it. So it's very well balanced. You're very, um, you're very aware of your presence and where you are in other people's lives and how much you can give of yourself. Um, to the point where you're not going to pour from an empty cup. So it's a lot of you have created boundaries as we get into the final leg of the the next three months, like the, the last month, right? Which would be like around, let's say, July or August, around this time frame. I feel like a lot of you um, out there are sitting very powerfully, but also not to the point where you come across as like rude or bitchy or, you know what I mean? Stuff like that. You're just very... Um, strong and firm in your foundation and your thoughts and your beliefs and um and work you know your decision making but you're also lenient and you're giving and you're willing to compromise which says a lot about your character um the six of cups here is like um missing a lot of you are missing loved ones your moms especially if you're listening to this message today and you've lost your mother or your grandmother due to whatever reason you know they're no longer here in the physical world and you're asking whether or not they are around you the answer would be yes that they are around you spirit is always around us and these are these memories cannot be erased um, and it may not be easy today for a lot of you moms out there so i give you my unconditional uh hugs i'm lucky enough to have my mom here which i feel very very blessed and i'm getting emotional um i don't have my dad anymore but um i do have my mom so i'm very grateful that i do have her you know and for those of you that do not have your mother um with you right now just know it's going to be okay and know that you are loved and she is around you um so even if you don't believe that, um, you need to believe, you know, that, that that is actually happening. Because I think for a lot of people, there's a lot of disbelief in the paranormal or that life continues after death. And I think you need to hear that message today that um, it, despite if you lost your grandmother, your aunt, your sister, you know, and they were mothers, that they are still around you. Uh, our loved ones are never too far away, even though it may feel like the spirit world is on another level or it's like eons away from us. It's basically in the same environment that we're in. It's just maybe a couple of inches or feet, but we can't see that all the time, that world, unless you're a medium. And even then sometimes we can't see it, but they are around. Um, then we have here the three of swords, which tells me there's a lot of pain um, for some of you, they're the family dynamic, the things that are going on in your family or that have happened in the past. Some of you are in family situations that are not necessarily the best. And uh, this time of the year um, are it's not the best. Some of you may have a Mother's Day celebration today and you may just you may you may feel like, OK, you know, maybe somebody goes off on you or you go on off on somebody in your family. And this creates like a rift. So just um, be gentle on yourself and know that spirit is loving you despite of everything else that's happening. Tune out the noise. And I feel like that's the biggest thing for you to pick and choose your battles. If you're feeling a little upset, it's OK. Go through the emotions, but don't 
take it out on somebody else just because, you know, this day maybe affects you in some way. Uh, if it means, you know, like you doing meditation, going outside and, and hugging a tree, grounding yourself, walking barefoot on the ground, uh, lighting your incense, your Palo Santo, um, turning on aromatherapy candles, you must do what essentially is right for you. Okay. So, um, I want you to know that then we have here the three of pentacles. So teamwork, a lot of you are going to be working with other people, friends, um, you know, this could be like a project. This could be something in your career where you have co-workers that you're having to work with uh, over the, but it's like new goals, new opportunities. And then we have the six of swords. So some of you are going to be moving, moving from an apartment, from a location, from a city. There's movement, there's progression for you. So I want to thank you so much for tuning in. All of you beautiful souls. Again, if you want to book a reading, you have until midnight tonight to um, use it. No promo code needed. Just go to my website. It's www.raymondguzman.net forward slash readings. Be sure if you like this video to give it a thumbs up by hitting that red subscribe button on the bottom right hand corner of this video. Or maybe it's this side, I think. Yeah, when I record it. And then the uh, turn the notification bell icon to all so you'll be notified of all future videos that I do publish on my channel uh, also don't forget to follow me on Instagram at psychic medium ray all right guys I love you so much until next time bye